Now it's almost halfway through Ramadan for many Muslims who've been fasting in our region. During the holy month, those observing the fast can't eat or drink during daylight which at the moment is about 17 hours. Yeah, think about that. Prayer and giving to charity are important aspects of the month, and Muslim families and community groups have once again encouraged people of all sorts of faiths to share Ramadan with them, as our correspondent Elaine Wilcox now reports. A welcome sound after 17 hours of fasting. Here, Muslims in Manchester's Wally Range invited friends and neighbours to join iftar, the time they break their fast. For these school children, eating at 4 a.m. before sunrise and not again till after sunset is tough. It's because like there's people eating in front of me and I really want it in my tummy. Most of the time, I just go sit down and don't look at food. Here, those from different faiths shared food and football. It's a different people coming together. It's a pleasure, really. It's an honour to share this time with them. Share Ramadan started online and is now a global event. Claire Stevens has taken part for the first time after a friend challenged her to fast for a day, rising before dawn. I got tired throughout the day more, which I didn't. I thought I'd be OK with the sleep, but actually it was harder than I thought with the sleep. The food and the drink was OK, but everything else, the sleep was a bit, a bit difficult. You know, I've known her for about five years um, and she's watched us fast every year. But I think this year she's really got an empathy of how we feel at that time. And it's definitely something I'll be doing again next year. Now, in its ninth year, every Thursday in the month of Ramadan, Muslims share their food with rough sleepers in Manchester. Never even seen anything like this in my life. It's amazing, it really is. Kevin Keane says he's been touched by the kindness of strangers. Everybody welcomed you, everybody wanted to speak to you. Do you know what I mean? It was hard to have conversations because everybody wanted to talk to you, which is something we're not used to, especially on the streets. People will look away rather than look at you, do you know? So it is nice to come to places like this and meet different people. We've seen people who have come here um, addicted to things and got themselves clean and off that and into housing and into jobs as a result of just having a community feel around themselves. <laughs> Coming out of the mosque and into the community, it's hoped by sharing Ramadan, it'll bring people together. Elaine Wilcox, ITV News, Manchester. Fantastic idea. Um, let's get the latest weather forecast now. Joe, what can you tell us? Well,